people should go to um well they must go see Craig and 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 Shaw uh play these parts is 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 one of the reasons they must uh and and they should because I think to me the biggest thing about theater is that it it makes you feel something and I think whether <laughs> whether or not you like what it makes you feel uh, and I think that this show will make you feel and it will make you want to discuss things afterwards. And so I, for that reason, I think should, people should go see it. Um, I personally think the writing's good, but I would. <laughs> I don't always think that about my writing, though. Um, but I, I think that, that there are things in the script that are just well done. And with those actors, I don't think people want to miss that. I think it's something that they that people are going to talk about. If we get it right, they're gonna it's gonna be legendary, iconic, whatever you want to say. Hi, I'm Jigs Burgess. I'm the author of Wounded. And if you want to know more about this play, just keep listening. In it. Oh gosh, Wounded's a twisted little tale. Uh, it came to me as I was sitting on my back porch watching my hummingbirds, and and you'll see how that's uh, <laughs> that's definitely where it comes from when you see the play uh it's um it's a, it's a tale that i've i've been obsessed in the last few years with with justice and revenge and when is it justice and when is it revenge and this doesn't deal with the justice part this is is really about revenge but i had this and I had that voice of the of the lead character and I knew that he had been wounded and I knew he was an incredibly um wounded character but I also felt you know knew he was funny and um uh that he would amuse people um but I I had he wouldn't leave me alone till I wrote him number one and uh, it just turned out that this obsession of mine with justice and revenge fits in with with that character really well. Um, and once again, I don't want to go too far into that. Maybe saying it's about revenge is actually too far because the first um, probably third of the play, you're just going to love him. You're just going to, you know, he's 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 going to be, I think, somebody you want to know. And the last third, I think you're going to understand just how damaged this guy is and how dark he can be so well uh, it's 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 about carol carol is um he is a mediocre writer at best he's had three three books published one was made into a movie it was the worst movie the only movie that that uh meryl streep ever did that got bad reviews according to him and um but he's he's been forced to move back to his hometown uh, to take care of his mother. He promised his father before he died that he would do this. He would, even though he has brothers that could do some of this, he's he's promised that he would. And in doing that, it it just has dredged up a lot of pain for him over the years until we get to this point where this friend comes to, to visit, and I say friend loosely, um, but the, the friend dredges up more childhood junior high high school pain um for him and and uh it's i think it's a it's he had a revenge fantasy and he sees the the opening to actually make that fantasy real yeah i think that theme is that that you know we're all damaged and some of us are more damaged than others and and hide it until we can't anymore i think that's the major theme theme for that show but i've got incredible actors it's just it's a two-hander and just once again just incredible actors i don't know how i've gotten so lucky craig taggart had uh, has been with this show from the earliest drafts as a reader uh he just had came in with the right voice the right attitude um that was i didn't think i'd be ever ever be able to find anybody that was exactly what I wanted for this part. And, and this actor 
can do it. Uh, he's just incredible in this role. It's like I had written it for him, but I had not. Um, and then uh, Shaw, who plays Robert, the second character, he uh, was a friend of of Craig's who, you know, they were, we were auditioning and Craig said, well, I've got this person who, who would like to, and from that first take, he was, it was just amazing. And so the two of them together are going to blow this, this show out of the water. Um, if the show doesn't do well, it's not because of them. It's, it's the script because they're just incredible. I think they're going to be surprised with um, their change of feeling for Carol. I think they're going to be surprised with with um, what he's made of. Uh, without kind of going any farther, um, I think uh, some of the things he brings up will surprise. Now, I also think that we have to warn people. There's there's a lot of um, sexual kind of violence that he talks about. Uh, so, so that's, I'm hoping that, that we get that warning out so that it doesn't uh, surprise people in that way. And that's, that's not a good thing. Um, but, um, I think they're going to be surprised by the fact that they're going to go home and they're going to feel conflicted by these characters, um, who's right, who's wrong. And I don't think there is an answer to that. I think people need to go see uh, P3's production of Wounded because they haven't experienced something so electric in a long time. This play is going to shake them to the core. It is going to make them relive things and think about things they haven't thought about in a long time. It's going to make them question things they've done, things they were thinking about doing. And I think it's really going to move them as a human being. And I think it's important. I think the, I think the topics that we uh, are including in this play are uh, human and important. Wounded uh, via P3 production is a must-see. You're going to see two artists that are on purpose and doing what they were put on this planet to do with a piece that is rife with comedy and tragedy as as it, it's, it's what I was put on this planet to do um, as far as experiencing all the feels. And it's, you're going to be see two artists at the top of their game throwing down and telling a story unlike it's been told before. I wanted to be a part of this play first off because my talented friend Craig Taggart suggested me for it. He called me and he said he read the script and he could think of no one else to play the role, I was blown away. Um, and I have such respect and regard for him as an, an actor and um, an artist that I didn't even need to think about it. I didn't even need to read the script. I was in at that moment. Luckily, after reading the incredible script by uh, Jake Burgess, um, <laughs> it's phenomenal. And it's so well written that it's just, I can already see it in my head. And the characters are so real and honest and, and wounded uh, that I just can't wait to play a part like this. I am in love with this playwright style. Um, I honestly feel as if... Like we, Jiggs Burgess and I, the playwright, have never met, but I feel as if he has written something that comes from my soul. In that I feel such a connection to Carol, um, in the fact that the way Jiggs has crafted this character is that he's rife with witticisms and there's an innate poignancy to him. He, the words that come out of his mouth are so delicious to say because it's rooted in Southern humor, and that's something that I've always had an affinity for based on having grown up in Missouri. Uh, my grandmother would say, we're not Southern, we're country. But it's been um, a, a writing style 
that I've always had, you know, held very close to my heart. And Jiggs is so talented with it that he makes the work of an actor quite easy simply by speaking the words that are on paper. My character, Carol, goes through quite the arc in Wounded in that at the beginning of this chapter of the story, he is a nervous wreck. <laughs> he is expecting company, uh, somebody who he has not seen in years, who he's very, very excited to see. And we go on quite the journey of his nervousness and then settling into the, um, the pain and the, uh, and, and the pain that comes from the honesty of his experience with, with his guest that comes to visit and, his, and the terms of his own life and his coming to terms with the failed purpose that has been his existence and um, unrealized dreams that he's experienced. So it's, it's quite the ride of nervousness and being frazzled and how he overcompensates that and ultimately being honest with both himself and, and a loved one. My character in the play Wounded is Robert. Uh, everybody in this play has been wounded and badly, pretty badly in some way, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And I think both characters, and mine in, in particular, is, is grasping for some sort of redemption. Um, he, he needs to be forgiven. He needs to forgive. Uh, the themes in, in, in Wounded, um, they are the themes, once you've seen this powerful play, that we all have and suffer from and try to overcome every day of our lives, uh, our past, uh, the parts of our past that haunt us, the parts of our past that still control the puppet strings of how we are uh, the rest of our lives. And um, for my character, I'm trying to cut those strings I'm trying to get over addiction that has really shaped my life. And uh, I'm looking for some sort of uh, salvation that uh, I don't know comes. The layering of the themes of Wounded, I mean, even just looking at it from the standpoint of why is that the title? Um, wounded in the fact that it speaks to the experience of humanity in that how do we rebound from being hurt and what happens when we're hurt? How do we process that? It, it reminds me a lot of the Langston Hughes poem of a dream deferred. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Does it fester? And there's a lot of components in, in Carol and in, in um, Robert, who's also in the other character in the play, of what wounded looks like, what wounded is, and how does one, and does one, overcome being hurt? What I'm looking forward to uh, performing this particular play uh, live is, uh, I'm sure what is going to be some deafening silence in the audience. This play, I've never read anything so powerful, really. And it's staggering. And I think that people are going to connect with it, and they are going to be processing things in their own lives while they're sitting there that they haven't thought about in a long time. And uh, so that's what I'm looking most forward to. I'm looking forward to the reaction, the way that we're be able gonna, we are going to be able to, to move these people. We're going to make them laugh, uh, and uh, you know we're going to make them long, and we're going to make them hurt a little, and uh, we're going to make them leave changed. That's what I'm looking forward to. I want them walking out a little different a little different person.
I am most looking forward to when performing Wounded live on stage is feeling that connection with my – well, number one, I'm looking forward to throwing down – with Shaw Jones. I, he is one of my favorite actors. I am thrilled beyond measure that he is doing this with me. Um, and the other thing that I love as an actor, as I've spoken to as far as the difference between film and television, is I, I was born to be on stage. I know that is my purpose. And having that exchange and that relationship with an audience for an hour and a half telling this story um knowing that they've got a connection to this character just like i've got a connection to this character and that we'll all walk away with it uh learning something a little bit about ourselves i do have a history with shaw jones my co-star in wounded in that we first met about a decade ago um, at the richard lawson studios so we've studied acting together so what's really cool about this particular project as we get ready to jump in is that he and i already have a chemistry and a shorthand of working with one another i trust him implicitly i know that the work that he's going to bring to the table is going to impinge me i know that i can volley back to him and have that exchange that otherwise would take a little bit of getting to know you with a total stranger and we actually can bring the history that is inherent between carol and robert through craig and shaw so i'm really excited about that and i cannot wait to play with He's brilliant, and I can't wait for everybody to see how just phenomenal he is. And selfishly, I can't wait to play. I think what will surprise people about this play is the depth that it goes to. It starts out, uh, uh, it's light. It's, and uh, I, I don't think they understand the cliff that they're driving towards. Uh, and it's going to be a great moment when the, when the car goes over. I think audiences will be surprised with Wounded at its unapologetic honesty. It, it peels away throughout the course of this, throughout the course of the story, um, some really, really dark, some really, really painful experiences that this individual that Carol has gone through. Um, because as with great Southern writing, it's, it's, it's all the feels. It's laugh out loud, and then on a dime, you're on the verge of crying your heart out. Because funny people oftentimes are the deepest wounded. And it's, it's inherent in the writing, but I think people will be really surprised with just how honest the character ultimately becomes regarding his experience and how raw that is. What I would like to say to Jiggs Burgess, the playwright, is thank you for this opportunity, for speaking such specificity to this character of Carol, because something that I have learned in the evolution of, of, of my artistry is that the more specific one can be with their storytelling, the more universal it becomes. And the specificity in which Carol is written lands on me in that I have, over the course of the last 40 some odd years that I've been doing this, I know who this man is and it's something that I literally was put on this earth to do and I cannot wait to do it, and I thank you for the chance, Jakes. People should go to, um, well, they must go see Craig and, and, and Shaw uh, play these parts is, is, is one of the reasons they must. Uh, and, and they should because I think it's going to, to me, the biggest thing about theater is that it, it makes you feel something. And I think whether <laughs> whether or not you like what it makes you feel, uh, and I think that this show will make you feel, and it will make you want to discuss things afterwards. And so, I for that reason, I think should, people should go see it. Um, 
I personally think the writing's good, but I would. <laughs> I don't always think that about my writing, though. Um, but I, I think that that there are things in the script that are just well done. And with those actors, I don't think people want to miss that. I think it's something that they that people are going to talk about. If we get it right, they're gonna. It's going to be legendary, iconic, whatever you want to say. Hi, I'm Shaw Jones. I will be playing Robert in the P3 Theater Company production of Wounded. You've got to come see this play. Be ready to be moved. I'll see you at the theater. Hey, I am Craig Taggart. I am starring as Carol in the upcoming production of Wounded, produced by P3 Productions. You do not want to miss this. It's going to be incredible. Hi, I'm Jiggs Burgess. I am the playwright of Wounded. Uh, and I beg you to come see this show because you're going to see some performances that are going to blow you out of the water. So come see us. See you at the theater.